There are uh, a bunch of interesting numbers known as Smith numbers. Uh, let's uh, start with the definition of uh, Smith numbers. So uh, the first thing to do is probably to start with the definition. Uh, the definition of Smith numbers is as follows. So the definition of a Smith number is when the sum of the digits is equal to the sum of the digits in its prime factorization. Now the best way to get a handle on it is uh, through some worked examples. So we will now go through uh, a few examples. Uh, a very simple example uh, is to start with the number 4. So the number 4 uh, is a Smith number. So we need to check how it's a Smith number. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is look at sum of the digits. So the sum of the digits is just simply 4. And then we need to look at the sum of the digits in its prime factorization. So 4 is 2 times 2. Now that's the prime factorization but we need to sum the digits. The digits are 2 and 2. So 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So essentially what we have here is that the sum of the digits which is 4 is equal to sum of the digits in its prime factorization which is also 4 hence the number 4 is a Smith number. Let's look at uh, another example. So uh, another example of a Smith number is the number 22. Now when you sum the digits, there are two digits here, 2 and 2, so 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. And then we need to construct the prime factorization, so 22 uh, is written as 2 times 11. Uh, those are the prime factors of 22. And now we need to look at the sum of the digits in the prime factorization. The digits are 2, 1 and 1. So it's 2 plus 1 plus 1 which makes it 4. So here again we notice that the sum of the digits turns out to be the same as the sum of the digits in its prime factorization. So the number 22 is also a Smith number. Now these numbers have uh, a slightly curious history in the sense of how they were actually uh, discovered. Uh, so the history behind them is sort of rather interesting. There's a gentleman known as Albert Wilinski. Albert Wilinski. Wilinski. And uh, he was trying to call his uh, brother-in-law and his brother-in-law's telephone number was 4937775 and uh, what Albert Wilinski noticed was that this particular number had this property. So it had the property that the sum of the digits was equal to sum of the digits in its prime factorization. So let's explore that. So the number is 4937775 so we have 4, 9, 3, 7, 7, 7, 5. So the first thing we need to do is look at the sum of the digits. So that would be 4 plus 9 plus 3 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 5. Okay, now let's see if we can add it up. So that's 4 plus 9 is 13 plus 3 is 16 plus 7 is 23, plus 7 is 30, 37, plus 5 is 42, okay? Now we need to look at the prime factorization of this particular number. The prime factorization turns out to be 3 times 5 with a multiplicity of 2 times 65,837. 
So this is the prime factorization of this number. And what we need to do now is look at the sum of the digits in the prime factorization. So we need to sum of the digits uh, in the prime factorization. So we need to add all the digits together. So that would be three plus five plus five plus six plus five plus eight plus three plus seven. So now let's go ahead and add that up. So that's uh, three plus five is eight, five, 13, six, 19, five, 24, eight, 32, three, 35 plus seven is equal to 42. So we see that uh, with this particular number, the sum of the digits is 42, and the sum of the digits in the prime factorization also turns out to be 42. So this particular number is a Smith number. So now the question is, why are they called Smith numbers? And that's because uh, Albert Wilinski's brother-in-law, uh, and that is the telephone number of the uh, brother-in-law, was a gentleman called Smith. And so Albert Wilinski decided to call them Smith numbers.